Hi guys and welcome back to my channel of my life in our world. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do enjoy it. And welcome, my name is Tati, I'm 19 years old and I attend Rollins College in Orlando, Florida and uh, nice to meet you. If you aren't new to my channel and you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll probably notice that this is a very different background. I'm still in my room, this is just my wall and this little middle piece separates the colors and this little frilly thing is a decoration that I have on my wall and you'll probably see it in my next video which is dorm essentials and dorm decorations so make sure you check that out in the next couple days after this video posts um but yeah let's just get right into this video so question number one is a very simple generic question of what your roommates favorite hobbies or what things they do to fill the time in their like leisure time and this is I think just a simple nice easy question to start off because you kind of get the vibe of your roommate are they athletic are they artsy are they creative like what do they do to fill the time and of course people can be multiple things for me I'm more artistic and creative I used to play sports a lot but I don't anymore so I think that this kind of gives you a good idea of what your roommate is like and it's just a good start off question because maybe you can use this to bond over it later question number two is what your roommates current major is or what they think they're gonna major in of course a lot of people go in to college not knowing or not having any idea what they want to major and that's totally okay but just kind of getting a vibe and what they're interested in if they don't know what they want to major in that's totally fine because this can be something that you guys can maybe bond over if you're in the same situation and while you're going through college and classes you guys can kind of talk and figure out what you're really passionate about question number three is how do you feel about guests this is a really important question because I know um, based on my roommate that I had and my boyfriend's roommates, everyone has a different preference on guests. Me, I didn't mind having guests over if they were immediate family or if they were a boyfriend or girlfriend. But I did tell them that I would like to know in advance if we were having guests over just because it is my room too if you guys are sharing a room. And I think it's just considerate to let that person know ahead of time in case you need to clean or you need to make sure that you have your stuff out of the room. Another thing you want to make sure while asking this question is if they are having guests, will those guests be allowed to spend the night? This is also a big thing because if boyfriends are spending the night, I know this can be a little awkward for some people. Me personally, when my room had her boyfriend over the one or two times that he was over I did not stay in the dorm I just wasn't comfortable if they were like cuddling or doing other things I just preferred to go to my boyfriend's dorm or to my house and spend the night there um, I know some people aren't willing to do this or they can't do this so if you can't go home or you can't go somewhere else and you don't feel comfortable having a boyfriend or girlfriend spend the night then that definitely needs to be discussed with your roommate all right question number four is if your roommate plans to go home often this can be a big question especially because personally my roommate didn't go home very often only for really like the breaks that we had at the school and I found this to be something that kind of bugged me a little bit because I never had time for myself in the room and some people don't mind this especially if they're close to their roommate and sometimes people don't like being like alone in the room if they find to get used to it but um, I did tell my roommate I didn't think I was going to be going home a lot, but that did not happen. I went home probably every weekend, and I probably was gone three or two times a week going to my boyfriend's dorm. So this is just something that you guys could probably talk about. Um, and if you do leave, do they want to know in advance? So yeah, just make sure to ask that. Question number five is very important because this is probably my biggest mistake that I personally made that I did not ask my roommate this question when I moved in. And the question is, do you have any sleeping conditions or do you snore? And for snoring, this wasn't the biggest problem for me. I'm not a light sleeper, I'm a pretty deep sleeper. So if I fall asleep before the person who snores, I'm pretty much in the clear. But I have friends who were light sleepers and they had a roommate who snored and the roommate was super nice. They knew they wanted to be friends with them. She was clean, had no problems, but she snored. And because of that, she was waking up every single night 
could not sleep, could not get any good rest. And eventually she did have to move out of that dorm and get a new roommate. So this is really something to consider if you know you're a light sleeper and you cannot handle having a roommate who snores. If they do and you don't have the option of moving out, try to talk to them, maybe ask if they can get nose strips or if there's anything they can do to get them to not snore as much not as loudly or not at all. Now with the sleeping conditions, this was a bigger problem for me because my roommate did not tell me that she had night terrors. Now I don't know if this happens to a lot of people, but my roommate would wake up in the middle of the night screaming like she was getting murdered or something. And it was very frightening for me because I am a deep sleeper, but hearing someone scream at the top of their lungs, waking up in the middle of the night, frantic, thinking something happened to them. It was just not the best situation. And so I eventually did ask her if she had something going on. And she was like, yeah, I have a sleeping condition. I have night terrors. And that was why she needed music to go to sleep. So this is another question you might want to ask is if they need music to go to sleep. And I know a lot of people don't. But some people do, and most people use earbuds when they have to use music to go to sleep. But my roommate didn't like using earbuds because she kind of knew it was a safety hazard. A lot of people have choked with sleeping with earbuds. And so she listened to it out loud. And that was another thing that really bugged me was I had to, you know, deal with this music going on every night. And I counteracted the noise by having a really loud fan that I would put on so that it kind of drowned out the noise. But sometimes I actually did go and turn down the music on her phone because it was just too loud for me. Question number six is kind of related to this. And it is, do you have any medical conditions? Now, this can be anything whether they have a type of disease or something they have to take pills for and this is just very helpful because if something happens to them while you're with them and you're not aware that they have any type of medical conditions you might not know how to help same thing goes for allergies if they have any type of allergies and you know about it and if they have an EpiPen then maybe you could help them in that situation I think that this is just a really smart question to ask of course I don't think I asked this for some reason I just didn't think about it. My roommate did have some medical conditions and this was something that I found out over the course of us living together. She did have to take, I believe, pills for some of the conditions and some of them did cause her to not go to class. So I think that this is just an important question to be aware. Question seven is a little lighter, but it is asking if they are planning on doing any sports or clubs and maybe if they're doing sorority or fraternity life, just any kind of extracurricular activities that they're planning on doing consistently. And I think that this is a good question because some people are in sports. They do soccer or softball or baseball, and that takes up a lot of their time. So maybe if you're planning on being friends with them, but they're gonna be busy a lot, then that's something to consider. Or if they're in a fraternity or sorority, sometimes this can be a good or a bad thing. If you're also planning on doing Greek life, then that's something that you guys can bond over and do together. But if you're not doing it, sometimes that might mean that they're out a lot, they might be partying more, they might have a lot more friends besides you. So it's just important to ask. Also, if they're doing clubs like debate, um, I personally was in a club for my major and my roommate. Um, I don't know if she did a club for it, but she did help with theater. So this took up a lot of her time as well. So it's just something to kind of consider um, time management wise and how much you're going to see your roommate. All right, question eight is all about cleanliness. So the best way I think to ask this question is on a scale. How would you rate your cleanliness on a scale of one to 10? Now I did do this with my roommate when we first met but it wasn't very accurate to be honest. It's all about honesty. If your roommate isn't gonna be honest with you, then this question isn't even worth asking. But to me, you should always ask it because in the chance that they are being honest, it could really help you kind of figure out what the rooming situation is gonna be like. For me, I told her that I wasn't the cleanest at home, mostly with clothes. I have a big problem putting away clothes. So I told her, I'm like, listen, I know we have a really small living space, so I'm really gonna try my best to keep the room as clean as possible and not have clothes on the floor and really put my stuff away. She in return told me that she thought she was a seven out of 10, which is what I said. And she said that she wasn't that messy and uh, she would clean up too. That ended up not being very true while we we're living together. I would honestly rate her a 1 out of 10. She cleaned up for her boyfriend 
and she cleaned up if I really bugged her about it. But besides that, her room was always messy with food and with clothes. And so if that's not something that you could handle, then that's definitely something to consider while having a roommate. Question number eight is all about employment. So are you or your roommate planning on working or getting a job? This is also more time management stuff. If they're gonna be gone a lot, if they're gonna have late nights, some people work at jobs where they're not getting off until 2 a.m. or they have to start at 6 p.m. or that means that they're taking up all their time or during the weekends they're not gonna be there. So this is just something to kind of keep in mind so you guys can understand when you guys are gonna be at the dorm a lot. If you don't like having a roommate that comes home really late at night that wakes you up from your sleep or you don't like you know having a roommate that wakes up super early and wakes you up from your sleep again then this is definitely something to consider as well the next question is kind of asking if your roommate likes to study a lot and if so if there's a certain way that she does like to study because I know a lot of roommates at Rollins they actually studied a lot together they would go to the library or go to a park or they would go somewhere and they would study together especially if they're friends and I think that's just a good question to ask to also see if your roommate seems very academic for me I did my homework a lot in the dorm and um, I studied kind of in the dorm kind of in the library it was kind of half and half personally for me and my roommate we did not study together and we did not do homework together and this is because I realized early on that she wasn't very academic um, I don't mean this in a bad way but she did like to procrastinate I never really saw her do her homework on time and she would just kind of stay up late sometimes and do her homework or wake up super early to finish an assignment and so that just really wasn't my vibe I like to do things on time or super early so that I don't have to worry about it So that's just something to ask if you want to figure out if studying together is something you were interested in All right, next question is if they would mind you bringing a fan now Personally, this was a big question for me because I was bringing a fan The reason I was bringing a fan was because I don't like to have that awkward silence before you go to bed And like if you turn a little bit the bed creaks and you're wondering if you woke up your roommate and it's just all these little noises and it gives you anxiety before you go to bed so I wanted to bring a fan so that we had some type of noise that was going on and it kind of helps me go to sleep and also it can be a big help if your room gets really hot which would happen to us because Rollins is trying to be really eco-friendly so we had a limit to what we could set our AC to and it was like 71 or 72 and sometimes it would get really hot during um, the fall so we did use the fan next question is if your room has any pet peeves I know this is just a good question to ask to see if there's anything that annoys them like chewing gum really loudly or certain noises that really bug them to just kind of be considerate of that next question is if your roommate drinks or smokes or is planning to do so in the future while you guys are rooming together this is an important question because if they are planning on doing those things and you're not comfortable with that and you know that they're underage and you know that it's illegal and if you were caught with that in the room you would also get in trouble this is a big thing that could be a problem living with them I know multiple people where their roommate did smoke or drink consistently and it became a big problem for them because one girl didn't want to get in trouble for it and the other girl didn't care and it just became a a really big conflict between them so the next question is probably a big question for a lot of people and it's if your roommate plans to be partying a lot and guys I've just heard a lot of horror stories from people that go out consistently going out super late coming home super late at 2 or 3 in the morning most of the time they're drunk or intoxicated or they're high and that's just the reality of it in college and if you're someone who again doesn't want to be involved with someone doing things that are illegal or against campus rules then you could also get caught with that and that can be a huge downfall to a roommate that does this please don't feel bad for asking this question I think it's very important to ask because if someone does do this very often and you are not very fond of it or it's not something that you 
are feeling comfortable with then this is something you definitely need to talk to your roommate about because it can cause a lot of problems all right all the questions from here are pretty light ones the next one is if your roommate is a morning or night person if they're a morning person then that means they'll probably be waking up early and if they're a night person that probably means they're going to be staying up late so this is just something to consider but i do know some people that prefer to stay up really late and they sleep really late in so they're just awake until like 12 o'clock two o'clock in the morning and that can be a hindrance to some people that like to go to sleep early and you want to get a good night's rest definitely discuss this with your roommate and kind of see where you guys lie next question is your roommate's favorite music or their favorite food this is just a fun question to ask because it can be something you guys can bond over or if you guys like to listen to music in the dorm out loud instead of on um, earbuds then if you don't like country but your roommate likes country then maybe you guys kind of figure out don't listen to music out loud because I'm not about it but if you guys like similar music then you guys can jam all the time or if they like certain food you guys can go on little dates together and kind of bond over that it just kind of helps build a type of friendship or relationship with your roommate next one is what day and time are your roommates moving into the dorm this is just kind of a question to figure out if you guys can move in at the same time or if you want to have your own space when you move in and not have to worry about other people in the room then say hey I'm moving in at 10 if you want to move in at 3 that'd be great so then we're not in each other's way this is just a question to ask to make sure that if you want things to go a certain way that everything runs smoothly for both of you too and the last and final question is if they want to know anything about you so honestly guys if you just want to make like a little questionnaire that'd be really fun and cute to like kind of give to each other and be like hey I'm gonna fill one out for you if you want to fill one out for me that'd be super great to just kind of have on file or kind of get to know each other a little icebreaker if you will that'd be super fun when you guys meet each other for the first time or if you want to send it through text or email whatever it's up to you the reason that I want you guys to keep these questions in the back of your head is to just make sure you guys don't go through the same situation that I went through. I just don't want there to be any surprises, anything that you're unaware of, and I really want you guys to build a friendship with your roommates if that is a possibility because I know some people that have become best friends with their roommate and I'm so happy for them, but of course not every situation happens like that and if something happens like it did for me then i just want you guys to be prepared and hopefully know things ahead of time before it's too late i hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video and i hope it helped you in some way or if you're nervous to meet your roommate you haven't met them or if you already met them and you realize you didn't ask them all the questions that you should have then this can be super helpful if you guys are still dorm shopping then my next video could be really helpful for you so please keep an eye out for that and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like it. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to do your post notification. Just click the little bell button. And this will just kind of help you guys get notified every time I post a video so you guys can watch it. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching my video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!